Hi, welcome to businessproject.com. The paper you requested is Cypress Day, Exposing Cryptographic Operation and Transition Systems from Monitor to Binary Execution. Let's have a look on our abstract. Malware are becoming stately and more and more malware are using cryptographic algorithms to protect themselves from being analyzed. The utilization of cryptologic algorithms and daily transition cryptologic features within the malware binary analysis imposes a key obstacle to effective malware analysis and defense. In this paper, we propose a novel binary analysis framework called CyberX Day to enable more effective malware analysis. It can automatically identify and recover the cryptographic operations and transition sequence. CyberX Day can enable to accurately pinpoint the boundary of cryptographic operations and identify whether the block uh, cyber operation is encryption or decryption mode. Let's have a look on our data flow diagram. Concept, sender and receiver then select cryptographic operation after this generate key and encrypt file then determine input and output buffer size then transfer file to the receiver receiver identify the cryptographic operation finds the input and output buffer size then decrypt the file compare buffer size on every decryption process extract the mode of operation used in block size then extract the original file software process now let's have a look on the demo of our project First run main dot java in transmitter package. Then run main dot java in receiver package. In transmitter, set any key parameter. Then click start transmitter. After that, go to receiver, provide transmitter IP. Then Set key parameter for the receiver. Click connect transmitter. Then set set key parameter. Now go to transmitter. Select key parameter. Now the key parameter is assigned to, and it will be transmitted to receiver also. Then click script operations. Select string key generation and provide any data to encrypt. Click next. Now select generate RSA key and AES key. The keys are generated now. Then click view keys. Keys will be displayed over here. Then select next. Here select SSH hash algorithm first. And you can select AES or RSA. Either we can select both of the encryptions in any manner. Select operation mode. After selecting operations mode, click next. Select SHA algorithm first. The data will be hashed now and then select AES encryption. Then select RSA encryption. The important point is first we need to select SHA algorithm because it is a one side encryption algorithm. We can select either AES first or RSA first. Then click transmit data. Now select pathes and identify intermediate nodes. After identifying information, click connect node. Now go to project. Here in intermediate nodes package, run faster Java. Give transmitter IP and click listen. Faster Java is connected to transmitter. Then select second that Java. Provide IP, then select listen, then third dot Java. Once all the three nodes is connected, go to transmission, click transmit data. The data is transmitted successfully. Go to first dot Java, receive. The data will be received and data verification process is done. If it is successful, we can send the data to the next node. Click send. Here go. Receive. Data received. Data verified successfully. If the data verified is not successful, then we can't able to send the data to next node. 
it will report the intimation to the transmitter. Go to third dot Java, receive. So after receiving in third dot Java, click send and go to receiver. Here receiver, select next and click receive. The data will be received and it is verified successfully. After that, identify crypto operation. The first operation is RSA encryption. So we are going for RSA encryption. Because we perform RSA encryption over there. Now we are performing RSA decryption over here. Select keys. Keys are accepted. And data, data will be decrypted now. And it will check for the next cryptographic operation. Click check. Next is AES. Select next. Here click keys. Click decrypt. Now the data will be decrypted. We will have the output stream. It will show the file length before encryption and the after uh, before decryption and after decry decryption. Now click check. Next is SSA. Select next. Click string. Then identify hash and check for the hash value. If both matches, it will show data verified successfully. That's all the process is over. Thanks for watching. Click my project.com.